Okay, hello everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So uh, this is the 9th of February 2022 on Wednesday. So uh, let's get started and let's see what's happening in the market right now. I see uh, AUD is very strong today and JPY USD are weak. So uh, let's check some charts first based on these three currencies and then we expand to some other currency pairs or markets. So, uh, and today I feel a bit dull for, uh, for some reason. So, uh, I might not be able to do live for like one hour. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how far we can go. Okay, so let me switch the screen. Okay, and uh, as a quick disclaimer, as usual. Um, this content is all based on my own, own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also this is live stream. So if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that will be great. So let's see who's here first quickly. Say hi to everyone and start the analysis right away. So let's see. Carbon Fibonacci, good to see you. Thank you for joining. And Gabby, good to see you too. Welcome back, Gabby. Thank you for joining. And Archback, thank you for joining again. Good to see you too. All right, and Jalash, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. And uh, David Al, thanks for joining also. And David uh, Johnson, Johnston, sorry. Thank you for joining as well. Great to see you. All right, I see many people here in the chat. Ishor and uh, Pingux Anis and uh, Nadar Parshal. And Peter, thank you for joining as well. All right, so as Jalaj says, AUD JPY, please. All right, AUD JPY is going up right now. So, uh, yeah, let's look into AUD pairs today first. So, let me switch to a trading view. All right, hello, Sa Saeed and uh, Katarina, William. And M, thank you for joining as well. Great to see you as always. So here is AUD USD. Uh, hold on, let me check the higher time frame first. So I will cover AUD USD, AUD CAD, and AUD JPY. So in terms of the daily time frame, AUD USD has been retracing back to Kumo. So uh, in the daily time frame, this is range. So if I see range market in one time frame, then I don't take that time frame to trade. That means this is daily and daily showing flat ranging because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikosman too close. So this means I don't take the daily time frame to trade. So I look for some other trending time frame. So in this case, I go one time frame lower which is going to be 4 hour chart. And if I look at the 4 hour chart, now Kumo is flat. Technically, Kumo flat, a single span B flat, and single span A is still moving up. And uh, Kijun Sen is flat. And Tenkan Sen is going up this way. And Chikou span above the candles. Chikou span broke the Kumo and also candlesticks, and now it's uptrending. So to me, this is bullish, it's bullish. So, and also uh, it broke, or it is breaking the previous resistance levels. So um, uh, it may retest the resistance level, it may retrace backwards a little bit, and um, bounce and goes up is my expectation. Um, it may retrace all the way back to Tenkan Sen, but uh, it may also be supported by the Tenkan Sen and continue to go up. But if the market breaks Tenkan Sen in the forward chart, then I will stay away. So that's uh, AUD USD. This is bullish. So uh, yeah, so let's see. Let me check uh, AUD CAD starting from the daily time frame. Um, AUD CAD is now bullish. It's going up and it also broke the resistance level of around 1.0.9070 level and the market is going up to Kumo now 
And, but in the daily time frame itself, this is flat ranging, more flat. Senko span A is retracing backwards now. And Kijun Sen is flat and Chiko span touching. So this is retracing and ranging to me. So I don't follow the daily time frame in this case. So once again, I go down to the forward chart. And in the forward chart, this is also bullish. As I mentioned previously, the market broke the previous resistances, one, two, three resistances. It broke bullish today. And Kumo is bullish. But Senko Span B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat. But technically, this is bullish. So uh, Chiko Span above candle. So um, it may be trace along the way. But overall, it's bullish. So in the forward chart, it should continue to go up in this way until the market breaks Tenkan Sen. This is bullish market. So that's AUDCAD. Hmm. So if you master Ichimoku and see charts by Ichimoku, then you know whether the market is ranging or trending. Um, I also look at the waves, but uh, initially what I look at is uh, Kumo and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen and Chikou Span locations. So now let's check the AUDJPY. Yeah, so AUDJPY daily chart. This is also ranging in the daily time frame because Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. And in this Kumo, if you look at this Kumo, you might think that the Kumo is bullish because technically you see the single span A's pointing upwards. But actually, for me, this is flat Kumo. Because uh, Kumo itself is not moving upwards right now. So, uh, and what I mean by up Kumo, bullish Kumo is like uh, this part. If you see the previous chart, this is a bullish Kumo and the market goes up stably in this bullish Kumo. But the right now, this is more of a flat. So, uh, this is in the P wave actually. So, uh, you can also draw the trend lines. Um, one of the trend lines you can draw is like this way and also um, the other one you can draw is from support and connect the next support like this so this is P wave and uh, the market is in the P wave and it's ranging obviously the wave analysis so um, in that sense also this is range so we can't, so that means we can't follow the daily direction because there is no direction in the daily time frame. So once again, what I usually do is I look at the forward chart. Um, like this, I look at the forward chart and see if Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, and Chikou Span are bullish. And now you can see that the Kumo has been uptrending bullish after the twist. And the price is above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span above candles. So this is overall bullish trend. So it may continue to go up in this direction, is my view, as far as the flower chart. But uh, it may retrace. It may retrace back to Tenkan Sen. And if it bounces on the Tenkan Sen, that's okay. You can still be in the trade or you can look for a buying opportunity. But uh, once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it may retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen while Kijun Sen remains flat. And then um, you don't want to look for buy chance anymore. So um, as long as the market is above Tenkan Sen in the forward chart, I think AUDJPY is still bullish. In terms of the price action or the lines, I see that there are two resistances here. So, um, so technically, these two resistances are on um, 82.95, and the market is going very close. Going very close to this level, and also this is the upper level of the P wave. So from here, it may reverse. So we'll see which way it's going. Uh, if you are not trading on this pair, 
then I think you better stay away because there's a potential retracement from here. But to be safer, you want to wait for the breakout of the resistance and look for the buy chance afterwards. So that's AUDJPY. Okay, so now let me come back to some comments. Thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you once again. Thank you for joining. So I feel a bit dull. So um, today, maybe the live stream will be a bit short, shorter than usual. Maybe uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But uh, yeah, I, I will do as, as, as long as I can do. So uh, yeah, please uh, stay focused. So let me check some other comments now. Uh, let's see, TikTok says, hello, is Euro JPY uptrend potential in four hour chart time frame, two more of a steady thickness, one hour and 30 minute chart waiting for the P wave breakout. All right, let me check Euro JPY. Um, let's see. Yeah, Euro JPY first. So I always do the top down analysis. So I always first look at the daily chart for the weekly time frame. So this time I look at the daily chart and I see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Which correspond above candles so this is bullish but it may be traced back to Kijun Sen is my view unless the market breaks the resistance level here 132.18 unless it breaks that level this is retrace it might be traced backwards so um and with that in mind if I look at the forward chart okay in the forward chart this is now turning bullish Yes, I see the thickness of the Kumo is very nice. It's got a thick, uh, thick Kumo. So whenever you see Kumo, you have to focus on the thickness of the Kumo. Um, so this part is very thick. So this means that this is long-term bullish. And also, I see Kijun Sen is pointing upwards. And Tenkan Sen flat, but Chikou Span is still technically up trending above candles so and also what I hear what I see here in this uh, price action is um, uh, yeah as uh, hold on. yeah as TikTok mentions uh, this is in the P wave or well, this is in ascending P wave in the forward chart first of all and so what I see here is like this wave ascending P wave and uh, yeah, within the ascending P wave, the lows are higher and high re highs remain the same. So uh, this is ascending P wave. So, and the fact that the Kumo up, Tenko Span A up, and Kijun Sen up also, and Chikou Span above candles, I expect the market breaks bullish in this way. It may test the trend line and go up this way also. And one more thing here I noticed is that uh, Chikou Span may bounce on the candles. You will see many, many examples where Chikou Span, when Chikou Span touches candles, it bounces and goes up in this direction. And most likely that might be, uh, you know, that will be the end of the P wave also. The market may, re may remain sideways and bounce on the trend line and goes up is my view. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, if I can if I can find uh, entry confirmation right now, I don't mind taking it and expect the market breaks resistance. And that is my favorite uh, way to trade. I don't usually wait for the resistance breakout or support line breakout. I prefer to um, enter before the break happens so that once it breaks, it goes very fast and it's time efficient for me. But simply when the market retraces, I simply cut the loss very quick in a very small loss so that future profits can cover these small losses. But uh, in order to do this, you have to have a good risk management. So uh, I think this will be a bit advanced technique, but uh, if you're comfortable, then uh, and if you look for, if you can find the confirmations to enter right now, you can do it before the breakout. Because I do see the P wave could break bullish in this market. That's Euro JPY. 
Yeah, and let's see. Uh, Lee Ann says, uh, Hi K, I'm um, buying AUDC AD at 0.90686 level. All right, let me see. Euros, uh, AUDC AD at 90, uh, uh, sorry, 0.90686 level. So that will be PR. 0.906, okay. 0.906 will be down here, okay. Around this level, we placed the buy, okay. And so that was before the breakout of the resistance, but that was good. The market has been uptrending ever since. So uh, the question is, can you tell me when I can exit? Uh, because in the daily time frame, it's downtrending. Um, so for me, daily chart is range right now. It's just retracing back. and looks like it's retracing back to Kumo right now, but uh, I don't see any trend in the daily time frame. As per Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And as per price action, this is bullish. As per price action, I do see a bullish in wave like this. So this is bullish. So uh, yeah, the market may reach to Kumo in the daily time frame. So, but when I exit, when I exit in this pair will be, I will focus on the four hour chart. And right now, four hour is flat. Four hour Kumo, Senko Span B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen all flat right now. So it may reverse, it may reverse backwards. Right? There is a potential reversal from here. So if it happens, if the reversal happens in this condition right now, then I will look for an exit timing based on the lower time frame. But uh, since the market is above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and daily chart showing bullish in the wave, so this is the daily bullish in the wave. So um, there is the potential uh, continuous continuation of uptrend, and obviously if the market keeps going up, then I won't exit. I keep trading the profits over time. But uh, so let's see if I see the retracement in five minute chart, for example. So right now in five, this is still bullish. Usually I look for an exit timing based on the five minute chart. But in five, this is still bullish. There was a reverse in the wave. But if you didn't exit here, afterwards, this is still bullish. And that there's a potential bullish in the wave happens uh, soon. So uh, yeah, I don't see any reverse confirmations yet. So there's no reason to exit in this case yet. Um, so if you're buying already all the way down, then uh, what I usually do is I move the stop loss to the most previous low in 5, which is here, and fix the profit of fix the profit of uh, 34 pips and keep trading the profits. So that means if the market renews higher, then you drag this stop loss to the Stick to the to the recent previous low, which is here, and you fix the profit of 40 pips and trail along this uptrend. But um, if the market reverse backwards, if the market start to reverse from here, then um, you have to look for exit time or simply. What I do is I let the market hit the stop and fix 33, 34 pips of profit. So it's your choice where, the, where, where you exit, but uh, this is my mindset because I screen chart three times per day, usually to five times per day. And within these three times to five times per day screening in the day, I look for a trading edge and I look for an exit timing. So I don't monitor the chart all day. I don't monitor the chart for hours per day. I never do that. 
once I see the break even, then simply I stay away from the charts for a couple of hours because I don't lose anyways. And in this trade also, I don't lose anyways. So I just leave the chart by the stop loss moving up here, 33 pips, fix it, and just leave the chart and do my own things. So yeah, but uh, speaking of exit timing in this particular case, this is what I think uh, think in this situation. Okay, so let me check some other comments now. M says, hi K, can you review gold? All right. Let me check. Commodity gold, XAUUSD. In the daily time frame, uh, this is too bullish. So it looks like the market is moving up towards the upper level of the P wave. Yeah, so to me, this is bullish. It's bullish, the market is going up to P wave resistance. And the Chikou span is about to break. So once it breaks it, then um, most likely it goes up to yeah. Or the previous resistance. It may go up to the previous resistance and then may maybe reject there or it break, once it breaks, it continues to go up in this way is my view. This is the daily time. And that is my view here. <clears throat> right. Excuse me. Okay, so let me check some other comments now. Uh, let's see, Kush says, uh, Hi K, if you have made a trade, meaning you enter the trade already, but then the higher time frame are still trending, but the middle time frame becomes flat, do you still stay in the trade? Yes, I still stay in the trade because I am following the higher time frame trend. I'm not following the mid time frame trend, but I'm following the higher time, higher time frame trend. So uh, yeah, in that case, keep trading the profits. Yeah, let's see. Milo says, uh, can you take AUDJPY for our chart as uptrend now? All right, let me check. Um, okay, AUDJPY for our chart. Okay, looks like this is now flat. I see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat. So uh, it may be traced back to Tenkan Sen. And also the market is near resistance level. 82.95 is a resistance, so it may reverse from here. If uh, Kijun Sen Kumo up, then I look for the buying edge. But right now it's not happening. Okay, Kush says, I just exited AUDJPY, $100 profit, okay? Yeah, AUDJPY have potential retracement from here right now. So to be safer, you want to exit. Yeah. Want to exit. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Great, great to see you. Amohan, good to see you. And Mario, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. All right, Milos says, uh, it's flat. Uh, according to KTS, but can't we expect that it can go up? Of uh, we find three confirmations in five minute chart, or do we wait for a renewal of the recent high in the four chart before finding confirmations again? Um, it is your choice. You can actually look for three confirmations right now and expect the market breaks, or you can simply wait until the market breaks and look for three confirmations. Uh, I think it's either fine, either fine. But uh, I won't look for three confirmations right now because Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. And it may be worse, back to Tenkan Sen. Because I always trade where there's a trending pairs in higher time frames. Okay, Jalash says, uh, Sensei, while looking at AUDJPY in the forward chart, we see that Kijun Sen is flat. Does that mean market is ranging? Uh, yeah, AUDJPY for our chart, yes. Kijun Sen flat, Kumo flat right now. So potentially, 
it reverses backwards. So in this condition, I don't feel positive that the market breaks the resistance level. It may reverse, in my opinion. So in this case, I stay away. Yeah, you know, when, when you see Kijun Sen flat or Tenkan Sen flat, Tenkan Sen means short term, and Kijun Sen shows mid term, and Kumo shows long term. As you may already know about Ichimoku basics, Tenkan Sen shows short term, Kijun Sen shows mid term, and Senko Span B shows the long term. And Senko Span A is supportive to Senko Span B. And, uh, so there are two things in the market you can watch by Ichimoku. One is a trending direction and the other one is the momentum of the market. So direction-wise, in Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen from short to mid-term, these are flat. So technically, what these line become flat means that the um, now buying power and selling power are 50 50. Yeah, before when you see uh, the angles are up on the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen, that means if you see Tenkan Sen up, that means it's bullish in the short term. So that means technically there are more buyers and sellers in the short term. If you see Kijun Sen up, that means there are more buyers and sellers in the mid term. If you see Senko Span B up, that means there are more buyers and sellers in the long term. But now you see Tenkan Sen flat, and that means the buyers and sellers are 50 50. And Kijun Sen flat, so buyers and sellers 50 50 in the mid term, Tenkan Sen for short term, and Senko Span B flat, that means buyers and sellers 50 50 in the long term. So when it becomes 50 50, buyers and sellers at the resistance. What can happen most likely will be the market will be resisted and retrace backwards because there are no more buyers uh, to uh, there are not enough buyers to break the resistance and that's what means that's what it means by this flat Tenkan Kijun Sen and Senko Span B. So in this condition, I don't look for the buying edge, and this is about the direction of the market. In terms of momentum, you can simply capture it by the location of the price to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and the Senko Span B. Simply when the market is above Tenkan, Tenkan Sen, that's bullish in the short term. The momentum is bullish in the short term. And when the market is above Kijun Sen, in the mid term, the momentum is bullish. And if the market is above Tenko Span B, that means the momentum is bullish in the long term. So, so that means the market can the market can retrace back to Tenkan Sen, but if it bounces, then uh, it goes up, then it may break the resistance. Or before the bounce happens, it may already break the resistance here too. But once again, now buyers and sellers are 50/50 in all the terms from short to mid to long term. Um, I, I kind of expect the market bound, reverse and goes backwards. So there might be some fake. In this case, there might be a fake breakout and then uh, retrace backwards too. And that's why I wait for the Kumo and Kijun Sen angle to look for the buying edge in the lower time frame. And of course, Chikou Span should be above candles for the bullish trend. Okay, hello Emeka, good to see you, thank you for joining. Good to see you too. Okay, so let's see. Um, Kush says, okay, do you look for support resistance breakout in higher time frames? Um, yes, I do, I do, yep. I do draw lines, resistance support in higher time frames, and monitor the chart. So let me check the strength chart right now. I think AUD has been strong, but let me double check. 
So here is the currency strength chart. And let me refresh. Yeah, looks like uh, AUD has been strongly uptrending. And USD is the weakest right now. And the other pairs are basically flat. Looks like at this moment, pound is going down and euro is going down also. But the other currencies are basically flat. So I think uh, this AUD JPY is going up because of the strong AUD. And AUD USD is going up uh, because of the strong AUD and also weak USD. So in terms of volatility, AUD USD is the best among AUD pairs because you see the uh, AUD is up and USD is the weakest among all the pair, all the currencies right now. That means this is the most volatile market right now. Well, technically, in my in my watch list, because I don't monitor New Zealand, but New Zealand is currently the strongest, and then AUD is the second strongest, and uh, USD is the weakest right now, and the other currencies are kind of sideways. So I think uh, AUD USD is the best one to trade right now, because if you take a buy. Um, more than AUD JPY or more than any other AUD based pairs, AUD USD can go up faster than other currency pairs. So, uh, but you have to look for the entry confirmation. You, you never take trades based on the strength chart. This is only for the reference, and I never trade based on this strength chart. This is only for the reference to see which currency is weak. Which currency is strong at this moment and after that i come back to the chart i look at the price action and ichimoku situations and look for the buying edge so that's the analysis for aud usd all right good to see you thank you for joining everyone once again for joining all right albert says i'm late are you already analysis Pound USD and Pound JPY. Ah, oh, not yet. Not yet. So let me check Pound USD first. Okay, so Pound USD daily chart has been ranging right now. This is also P wave structure. So, um, yeah, the market is now ranging. Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat in the daily. So we don't see any direction in the daily time frame. So let's see, in the forward chart, this is also ranging right now. Kumo flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat and Chikou Span touching and also Tenkan Sen is below Kijun Sen. Uh, for the uptrend, Tenkan Sen needs to be above Kijun Sen, but this is opposite. So this is range in that sense, in the forward chart. And then let me check uh, pound JPY. Pound JPY in the daily chart is also ranging. Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen is flat, and Chikou Span has been uh, overlapping the previous candle, so this is a range. So the market might reverse anytime soon. So let me check the forward chart. In the forward chart, this is it has been bullish. I see that the, uh, the market has been on the bullish N wave. There was a nice uh, Nice uh, reverse on the previous high. This was a nice a bullish in the wave. At this moment, technically, Kumo is flat and Kijun Sen is flat also. So it may be traced back to either Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. But still, this is bullish. So uh, you can wait for the Kijun Sen turns bullish and then uh, look for the buy chance afterwards. Chikou Span is above candles nicely. So this is also. A nice confirmation for the bullishness. Yeah, pound JPY is bullish in the forward chart, a range in the daily time frame. Okay, let's see. Let me check some other uh, comments now. A tool says AUDJPY. Yeah, so AUDJPY is up 
trending right now in the forward chart. Okay, I now I see June Sen is turning bullish and Senko Span B is also bullish. That's good. This is continuously moving up. Yeah, let me see. Jeff says, uh, hello, okay, if you use forward time frame to enter the trade, what smaller time frame do you use to monitor that trade? So what I usually do is, if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, please come to my website and hover over on free download and click on KTS Hayes Trading Strategy. Because basically, I talk about the market based on my strategy uh, every day on my YouTube channel. So this is a simplified version of Ichimoku. Of course, Ichimoku has many more strategies like time cycles, price theory and wave analysis, and also QSLX. There are many other strategies in Ichimoku, and I do use them to see the bigger picture of the market. But when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, trading practically, I created my own strategy, which is multiple time frame analysis by Ichimoku and capture the entry edge in the lower time frame in 5 minute chart or 50 minute chart and risk management and psychological management and that's called case trading strategy and so if you click here you can open the new website new uh, web page and uh, here you can have a download button where you can uh, download a free pdf of my strategy and also you can watch this video about uh introduction of my strategy so uh yeah so that's i think uh something that you want to get first and then uh watch my videos and live stream and in this pdf i mentioned that uh you know if i can if i see four hour chart uptrend then i go down to one hour and i also confirm a one hour chart uptrend and then i go down to either five or 15 minute time frame and look for an entry edge by Bollinger Bands, Price Actions, and Lines, and Stochastics, and other tools. There's a list of the tools that I use to capture the trading edge on the PDF, so uh, please have a look and uh, I'll refer to it. Okay, so let me see. Let me check some other comments now. Right, I do see many comments. So, Let's see. Uh, Andre T says, uh, Pound AUD really looks strong downtrend. Right, pound AUD, let me see. Yeah, Pound AUD broke Kijun Sen in the daily. And in the forward chart, it is going down right now. Yes, so this is bearish. But uh, yeah, Chikospan broke the Kumo, so this is bearish. Kijun Sen is within the Kumo, so I prefer to wait for the Kijun Sen to come out of the Kumo to sell. But uh, there's the, re the previous resistance, or oh, sorry, previous support is uh, how many pips this is? Let me see. This is, yeah, 60 pips down is the next support line. So, uh, yeah, this is downtrending still and continuously go down. And this is the initial target. 1.8817 is the initial target if you sell. Yeah, so looks like after the double top, the market broke the neckline of uh, 1.8931. And this is now bearish. Yeah, so looks like pound is getting weak right now. All right, uh, Menandro says, uh, hello, can you check Euro JPY? Yeah, Euro JPY right now is bullish. I have actually uh, did my analysis uh, before, but if you're new to today's uh, live stream, Euro JPY in the forward chart is bullish. And this is ascending P wave. Uh, the Kumo is up. It's got the thickness. So that means this is stably uptrending and Kijun Sen is up also and uh, ascending P wave so two resistances but uh, lows getting higher so the market may test 
the P wave again and potentially it breaks bullish in this direction. So that's Euro JPY. Alright, let me see. Milos says, uh, Mr. K, where is the next resistance in AUD JPY? Is it uh, 83.36? Uh, there is a past resistance last January 10th and also uh, concise with upper portion of the P wave or 83.75 as it's near in terms of the time. Uh, all right, let me check. So AUDJPY resistance. Okay, so I think the next resistance, I would say that the, uh, the resistance here from the 13th of January at 83.73 is a minor uh, resistance. And I think uh, the major the major resistance is here around uh, 84.27 because uh, there was also another resistance back here. So at this level, 84.27 around that level, there are two resistances. So I would say that this is a major resistance than the previous minor one. Okay, uh, let's see. Leon says, when you are a new trader, did you scared uh, when you take trades? Scared because you can lost your money for that trade. Yes, I did. Yes. It was very scary. It was very scary because, uh, you know, when you work, when you do anything, we don't really lose money. Unless it's gambling or unless it's uh, in other invest investments, uh, technically you don't lose money. So uh, yeah, I was very afraid. I was get scared of the losses, especially if it happens over time consecutive, not only once but twice, three times, four times, over time in a row. I get so scared. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, of course, I came to Forex World to, of course, make profits, essentially, and also to be free from my previous full-time job. And I became the one, but the after, soon after I became a full-time trader, I lost so much money. And that was the most scary time ever in my life. So, uh, but I didn't come back to the full-time full -time worker. I, didn't, I never wanted to come back because, uh, yeah, that was my pride to continue to trade. So I studied a lot about the price action and lines and support resistance and all other basics. And also applied Ichimoku and uh, started to win trades gradually afterwards. But for the, la for the first two years was losing and I was scared of the losses previously. But now, what I think about the losses, loss, losses are the cost, losses are necessary to make profits. I completely changed my mindset of loss. Okay, uh, Dun Dun says, uh, if you define trending in the weekly chart, what time frame do you enter? If I find the weekly trend, then I enter still in 5 or 15 if it's Forex. Yeah, so that I have uh, either stop loss to trade every time. All right, let's see. Ross Thamis says, uh, hello, Mr. K. Ichimoku can look very different as you circle between the different time frames. I can't find this quite confusing. Uh, oh, I can find this quite confusing sometimes. How to interpret what can be conflicting information? So, uh, okay, Ichimoku can look very different as you as your cycle between the different time frames. So, my advice for you is to take the daily chart first. To take the daily chart, and based on the daily situation by Ichimoku, um, you take trades. And after you comf become comfortable in taking trades by the daily time frame, then you start to apply other lower time frames. 
Yeah, I know uh, multiple time frame analysis is a bit confusing and difficult, especially uh, you know if you cannot really you know uh, if you're not really familiar with the multiple time frames. I think it's confusing, and I was I was very confused about also about the multiple time frames first, but uh, after I realized the importance of multiple time frames to see the bigger picture and going down to the lower time frames and get this micro analysis uh, so that I can you know see charts in different perspectives in different time frames and that actually gave me confidence also so uh, I think yeah my way of using Ichimoku is very unique because I do so in multiple time frames but if you're confused about it then first take the daily time frame and capture time cycles and get the understand the market situation correct, correctly and then add some other lower time frame confirmations yeah and uh, don't try to learn every time at once it is impossible so uh, just learn step by step one by one I hope that answered to your question. Okay, Menandro, you're welcome. Carbon Fibonacci says, who created Heikin Ashi? Uh, Kason, is he the creator of candlesticks too? Oh, for, for the Heikin Ashi, um, I don't know, actually. I never thought about who created the Heikin Ashi. Let me quickly look it up right now. Maybe I can find some information in Japanese. Oh, looks like uh, Heikin Ashi was created by one of the traders who had so much profit in, uh, in uh, how do you say, like a uh, string world, like string, string trading. String means, uh, oh, yeah, hey, sorry, uh, silk. Who, uh, who was trading silk uh, and made, making big profit uh, created the Ekin Ashi. So it's different from candlesticks. The creator is different from candlesticks. Yeah. As far as I Google, that is the information. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, Menandro says, uh, okay, can you share the link of the currency strings chart you showed a while ago? Uh, sure, you can find the strings chart. Hold on, let me put the link here on the comment. All right, I just posted so you can click on the link and access to the string. Okay, so now it looks like still AUD is still going up and USD is going down. Swiss run started to go down also and JPY is going down also. Yeah. Richard says, hi K, if there is a potential for multiple positions, um, how do you choose which one to take? What's the most uh, will you take? Uh, I would look at the Kumo shape and choose the best Kumo among the trending pairs. Yes, um, whether the market is near resistance or support is also important in higher time frames. But uh, you know, when the Kumo is thick enough, then potentially it breaks. So I prefer to look at the Kumo thickness and which one has the longest and thickest Kumo to be trustable. Okay, yeah, looks like AUD pairs are going up right now. Zebra says, do you ever use moving averages as a support resistance? Um, I used to do. I used to use moving averages, but uh, not anymore. I completely switched moving averages to Ichimoku. 
if you see me, if you see my YouTube uh, videos in the past, I think it was like two years ago or so, uh, I was using moving averages too. Three moving averages I was using and I created some uh, series of videos about moving average, but uh, now I'm using Ichimoku only. Okay, yeah, Milandro, you're welcome. And Lian, you're welcome also. Thank you for your comment. Okay, so now I guess I will end the live because uh, I feel a bit dull and not feeling well, well today. So uh, yeah, I will end the live for now. But uh, yeah, please uh, continue to practice, continue to uh, you know um, practice your trace and always track your records and back test to get confidence on your trace. So I will see you on the next one. And until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Matane. Bye for now.